Welcome back, folks. Not sure if you have noticed, but Canva has had a little bit of an upgrade. And I'm here to go over a couple of upgrades that I have noticed myself. So let's get started. So right away, you're going to notice on the home screen that the interface has changed slightly. And new on the home screen, we're going to notice a couple of new buttons. So it's, it's changed a little bit up here where we get to select what design we want to start with. New here is this option right here, which is a photo editor. And also on the side here is an email template option. And we're going to get to that um, closer to the end of this video. So don't leave so soon, OK? But for the photo editor, if we click the photo editor, we're going to notice that there is an option here for a whole bunch of different quick actions. Now, we're familiar with most of these quick actions, but new is this perspective correction. So I'm going to click on that button and it's going to bring up all of your image uploads. Remember, image uploads. And I'm going to take this one as an example. And over here, there's going to be an option for per perspective. There's going to be a vertical option and there's going to be a horizontal option. And when we move this slider, we're going to notice that the perspective changes. Same thing with the horizontal option. I think that's pretty cool. That is number one. I'm just going to X out of here and I'm going to open up a design so we can take a look at update number two. And I'm just going to open up a Facebook post. Now, if we go over into elements and we come down here to shapes, we're going to notice that there are a whole bunch of new shapes that are available. And we can go into each one, just say see all. And the other awesome thing is that we can also generate our own shapes. So I'm going to click this button here and I'm going to say create a tree shape. And I'll say generate shape. And like other AI apps in Canva, it'll give you a few different options. I'm just going to place this one on my workspace. So this is my custom shape. And like other shapes, we can change the color of the shapes. We can add a border. And I think that's pretty, pretty cool. And that is number three. I'm going to add another page and I'm going to place some text on my workspace because I really want you to see this. We now have the ability to change text color to a gradient. So if we go to the text color, we're going to notice that we have some gradient options. And when you click see all, we've got all these amazing different options available. I'm going to go back for a sec because I also want you to see that we have a gazillion options for color options as well. Now, if we want to change those gradient colors, you can just come up to customize and you can change the style. And we can also add different colors to our gradient and move them around like that. So that is our and that is our second update that you need to know to design like a pro in Canva. All right. Another new feature is that we can now star our favorite fonts. So when we click on text and we go into the font panel. And let's say we find a font that we really, really like, like this graduate font. If we click on the three dots, we have the option to star the font and our start fonts will appear right up top here before all our other fonts. I think this is an awesome new feature where you can favorite your fonts that you like the most and use often for easy, easy access. All right. So that is update number three. I'm going to create another page and I'm going to go back to our elements section. 
I'll click back here. And in our categories, you're going to notice an option called forms. Now, I was really surprised to see this, but basically what it does is it collects data for you and stores it right into Canva. Let's try this out. I'm going to click this form right here. This is an RSVP form and I'm going to fill it in. So I'm going to just type my name. I'll click absolutely would, wouldn't miss it. And for the song, I'll just put living on a prayer and I'll say RSVP now. Now, where does this data go? Well, up here, we're going to notice a, a section called responses. And so here is my response, responder number one, your name, and you're going to notice a purple button down here that says view responses. So here they are right here. Now, if we want to link it to a sheet, we can click on the purple button and it will automatically create a sheet for us in Canva where we can review more detailed information. And that is update number four. Now for the last and best upgrade available in Canva, I'm going to go back to the home screen and I'm going to go back to this email icon. I think this is the best feature yet that I have noticed in the new Canva update for October 2025. We can click on this email template where we can design our own uh, email. So for example, if you are in real estate, you can search for real estate templates and there are pro templates and there are free templates that you can use. So I'm going to select this one right here and that's going to update my workspace with that template right on my page. And you can update all of this information, including the links. You can update the photos. You can update the information that's in each of these sections. You can link to the actual listing so they can, they can see that online. Just select the item and then click on the three dots to add your link. Now, if you want to add a section, just hover right over in between two different sections and you're going to get a plus sign. When you click that plus sign, then you can add um, some other type of design, a heading, a subheading, some body, table sheets, and it goes on, on, on. It even gives you options for different sections that you can add to your email. Now, once you're done updating your email, updating all your hyperlinks, and this is something that we've been waiting for a very long, long time because forever we haven't really been able to use Canva designs in emails where the links work, but finally they work. So what, what you would do once you're finished updating your email is you can come over here and you can send a test email. Now, before we I do that, I'm actually going to change one of the links just so that we can test and make sure that it actually does work. So I'm just going to click that. I'll click the three dots. I'll click link and I'm going to actually just type in the link to YouTube just as a test. So I'll come here. I'll just say YouTube and I'll say done. And done. Okay, so there it is right there. It's been updated and we can see the preview of that. So we're going to come up here and let's send a test email. So I'll click send test email and it's going to my email address and I'll just say send test. In the meantime, I'm going to open up my email and I will bring that email right over so that we can take a look at it and try it out. All right, so here is the email and I'm going to scroll all the way down to where I updated that link. So here is that link right here and you can see that it's linking right to YouTube. So if I were to 
press the link, it's going to take me right to the YouTube website. So let's go back here and let's go back to Canva. And let's come over to share. Now, what do you do with this email once it's done, once you finish testing it to make sure that all the links work? What you would do is you would either connect it to uh, Gmail, MailChimp, and it would create the draft for you in your Gmail account so that you can send it out to all your recipients. And that's it. So this is the last and final new item sending emails with hyperlinks in them. I think that the possibilities are endless with this specific option. What do you think? Which one was your favorite update? Let me know in the comments. And if you notice any other new updates, let me know in the comments as well. All right, guys, for now, I want to say bye-bye. Until next time.